Hey everyone, welcome back to the Keto Server Fundamentals playlist. In the previous video, we discussed about handling URL encoded form data and multi-part form data. Today in this video, we will dive into an essential feature that is status pages in Keto, which helps us manage error and customize responses. Let's first start with an introduction. So, what are status pages in Keto? Well, they allow us to handle exception and HTTP status code centrally. Instead of writing custom error handling everywhere in our application, we can define a single place to manage all error responses efficiently. For example, when a user tries to access a non-existent page, instead of generic 404 error, we can show a friendly error message. Next, we will set up the status pages plugin in our Ktor application. We will install and configure it. After that, we will explore how to catch exceptions globally and return meaningful responses to users. Then, we will learn how to handle specific HTTP status codes so we can customize the responses for different situations. Finally, we will see how to replace plain text error message with HTML templates making our error page look better. Now, let's get started by installing status pages plugin. For that, we can head over to version catalog file you can find within this Gradle package. We can simply duplicate this line and let's say status pages over here too we can say status pages within build.gradle file we can simply duplicate this line and say status pages and we can simply sync the project Now to configure this status pages plugin, we can move to plugins package. Over here, we can simply add a new Kotlin file status pages. It will be a file. Now let's have an extension function. Application dot configure status pages we can install plugin by using this install function and plugin is status pages now this configure status pages extension function can be called from this module function we can simply call this over here we can import an application might throw an unexpected error like a database failure or a null pointer exception. Instead of showing a generic 500 error, we can cache the exception and return a custom response. So, for that, what we can say is we can simply cache exception something like this using exception and we can cache throwable. So, over here, we can get both access to call as well as cause for the exception. So, from here, we can simply respond with a text. Let's say 500. And we can simply respond with the cause. And for status, we can simply say HTTP status dot internal server error now to try this out we can move to routing over here let's add a route let's say post request let's give it a path product over here we can simply respond with instead of responding let's throw an exception so let's see if status page plugin catches this error or not let's say database failed to initialize 
let's throw this exception now let's comment it out first and let's try this so that we can see the differences so we are we have a post request to product path we can simply send and as you can see there is nothing in this body we have a status code but nothing in the body now let's uncomment this and quickly rerun the application now you can see the error message like whatever we added over here we are receiving in the body and as well as there is no any exception like stack trash over here as well since we have a catch the exception apart from this exceptions we often need to return custom messages for common http status code like not found or unauthorized so we can also do something like status and let's say we want to override unauthorized ones so for this we can get access to call as well as cause within this lambda and what we can say is we can simply re respond with text let's respond with unauthorized so we can say as respond with http status code dot unauthorized now let's quickly run the application as you can see we have unauthorized status but nothing in the body so now let's just uncomment it out rerun the application and you can see the response like for every 401 status code we will respond with this specific message we can do similar for bad request as well request let's run the application okay before running we need to change it to bad request now let's quickly rerun the application as you can see we get the bad request as well so now whenever we return bad request our it will status plugin status pages plugin will override the message body for us instead of returning this plain text response we can serve html templates as well so we can say something like status file we can use the status file and we can let's suppose we want to respond a html template for bad request so we can say status for status part we can add this bad request and for file we have something like file pattern and say something like error.html and within our resources we need to add this error.html file so what we can do is we can simply add html file within this resource package resource folder so we can say something like error error and over here we will say bad request we will give a title bad request and let's simply have a h1 body
in our routing we already are responding with bad request and within our status pages plugin for bad request we are responding with error.html so let's quickly rerun the application and we can simply preview as you can see we are now able to uh, respond with a particular html template for uh, status code like bad request now you might be wondering how can we respond different html files for all type of request we one way is by duplicating this but there is one more way like if you over over this function it takes variable arguments meaning we can have multiple status codes so let's have a status code for unauthorized as well as a status code for not found now there are three http status code now for that we can simply for file pattern we can simply use something like this so now what hashtag will do is it will look for for bad request we have a uh, code of 400 so it will look for error 400.html for unauthorized we have a st http status code of 401 so it will search for error 401.html and similarly for not found it will look for error 404 dot html within this resource and we can do one more thing we can simply create one more directory let's name it error errors and we can simply say errors slash error has dot html and within this we can simply move this over here And this is for bad request, so we can simply rename this file to. For bad request, we have a status code of 400, so let's refactor it. Now we can simply copy and paste for 401. 401 simply means we are unauthorized, so. And for not found, we can say 404. Now in this status space, we have configured these three status code uh, templates. So now let's try it out. As you can see, we are responded with the uh, HTML template. So now let's try the unauthorized ones. So if we are unauthorized, we'll get this template. Similarly for not found as well. Page not found. So now you can have your own custom templates for each type of status code or you can have handling for each type of exceptions as well. Alright, so let's quickly recap what we covered in this video. We use status pages plugin to catch exception, also handle uh, HTTP status code. We also learned how to return custom error templates for different status codes. In the next video, we will be exploring request validation in Ketor. We will be using status plugin, status pages plugin to re return some error messages as well. So until then, thanks for watching and happy coding.